My name is Dr. Ranko Miocinovic. I'm a urology staff at Detroit Medical Center in Santa Grace Hospital. Uh, my subspecialty is uh, robotic surgery as well as urologic oncology. And what we did today was a uh, bladder tumor resection with uh, state-of-the-art equipment, blue light cystoscopy that was uh, just released a couple years ago uh, within the country. And this technology is phenomenal. This is my first time I uh, had a chance to use it and uh, I can see why um, many other centers at the present time are excited about this uh, technology. So when we talk about bladder cancer, I think there's three different types of bladder cancers that I normally tell patients about. Uh, one of them is a disease that has progressed uh, beyond the point of local treatment. The other one is a low-grade tumor that we usually um, can manage uh, and that usually never, less than 5% of the time, becomes aggressive and metastasizes. But it is a specifically this intermediate risk group that has a tendency to um, potentially progress and potentially be very deadly if mismanaged. And it is that particular group where this blue light cystoscopy plays a key role. And what it enables us to, to do is uh, identify specifically the lesions that we can't see with white light. So specifically the lesions that we cannot identify with normal white light as in this room, when we look inside the bladder, when we flip the filter in this, in this specific scope, everything becomes blue and the areas of specific interest become red or pink. And that's how we know there's more in the bladder than what our naked eye with the white light, light sees. And today I think we proved this uh, concept and, uh, um, and to ourselves that this is really the way to go. And I'm very happy to be a part of this uh, uh, team and institution that has actually um, bought the system and we're the first in the, in the state of Michigan to have it. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to um, treating patients in the future and uh, hopefully uh, having a huge impact on this disease.